Good morning, this is DCR Troy Community Radio.com. I'm Flynn Myers on 1071 WTJN for David Denoyer on TC TV. It's time for the Main Street Report, and with me I have our interim director of Main Street, Stephanie Baker Silk. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> that's that's a lot to say. You make me sound so official. You are official. Oh well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, big month here uh, with January. As a matter of fact, you have big things planned literally all year long with Main Street. Yes, you know, we heard a lot of feedback from our merchants and from people on the streets this past year that what they wanted was more events. So we have responded and we are having Troy Streets Alive every single month of the year with a different theme. Um, I think a lot of people relate Troy Streets Alive to, hey, come out and there's going to be artists, musicians all around the square, and we will still most definitely have that when the temperature is well, warm I was going to say, when, <laughs> when it's a little bit warmer outside, yes, uh, you could even have an official winter. snowball fight. We could. Well, no, because well, we don't we have can, any snow. Well, just wait, because it'll happen in June or something. It's going to happen yeah, at a weird time. It is going to be, we will have snow here soon. Eventually. You know, Eventually. It snowed when they were taking the snowflakes off of the Mayflower the yeah, other day. Did I, you see that? <laughs> I was like, it's very poetic. All the snowflakes are coming down. And and literally. Literally. The lights and the snowflakes. Yes. You've got something big this month that is the win the window uh, from the merchants on Main and Market. Yes. So, right now you have the potential every ten dollars you spend in a participating downtown business um, and even there's a couple that are not downtown like jane mary's book center and i believe la fiesta um, that uh, if if you spend the ten dollars you can definitely get an entry ticket um, and every saturday of the month they will pull one name so at 2 p.m today the very first drawing will take place and i believe the prize today is worth a hundred dollars wow and it they go up incrementally up until the last day which is january 30th and that will be the final drawing so mayor beamish will pull one lucky name at 5 p.m on january 30th and they will win the entire prize window and actually there's two prize windows well our where so you're winning a prize out of the window but at the end of the month you could win everything in the window correct so if you head over to the ABC 50 Community Connection Center, if you're actually on Main Street, there's a smaller window right by the front door that has the first three weeks. Okay. So you the, can see each of the prizes. Ah, uh, there says, we go. Week one, win this. Week two, win this. Week three, win this. And then the final drawing. Overall, the, the whole two, month. Yes, like there's the alcove there beside the Three Weird Sisters. That entire alcove of prizes will be yours on the 30th if uh, your name is drawn. Uh, that in itself is pretty amazing. I like how you get tickets to enter. Yes. So it's every $10 you spend. So if you buy a $300 watch downtown, you've got 30 entry tickets. Wow. It's, it's possible. And all they have to do is look for the snowflake in the window of Correct. the participating merchants. Correct. So it's most of the downtown businesses are participating in this. Most of the downtown businesses also donated a prize. So if you have not checked out everything that could be yours, make sure you stop by the alcove down at the ABC building or the Lit building, however you know it, the David Chu building. David Chu building you know, is where you know it. <laughs> uh, but it's it's phenomenal. I stopped and looked the other day. I mean, I I was obviously privy to most of the prizes, but there were some of them that I hadn't seen yet, and I thought, oh my gosh, it's a shame I can't win this window. But it's pretty neat. So uh, lots of goodies in the window. Stop over and yes. take a peek at it for sure. And uh, and that goes for mer when you're thinking of merchants. It's not just like I bought something at Brower Stationers. Mm -hmm. This is or jewelry. Yes. This is also dinner. Yes. Like if La you go to is participating. I know Basil is participating. Caroline's participating. Kay's, Mojo's. I mean, there's a lot of businesses that are in this. Um, the Tavern Downtown, which was formerly known as the Little York Tavern, they're participating. I mean, so wow. just make sure if your waiter or waitress doesn't mention it, ask and make sure that they can give you the ticket. So if your bill's 70 them. bucks, go, uh, don't forget my seven tickets. Exactly. And, and some, they may not be participating. Just ask and see. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe ask when you go in ahead of time. Yep. So you, you already have that expectation. Yes, but definitely every chance you have is a chance to win. And if for some reason... Um, you win the three weeks prior, or you know, 
the three smaller prizes, you are still eligible to win the grand prize. So if you won in week two, you could still your, win your name winner. goes back in the hopper and you could win the overall big prize in the end. Yes. Wow. And it's over $3,000 worth of prizes. It's huge. It's a, that is growing from the first time that we talked about it. Yes. It's, it's amazing. I can't even fathom. I would love to add up all of it. And just see. I mean, there's a flat screen TV. There's a bike. There's a chandelier. There's. Uh, it's just crazy. It just keeps growing bigger. Yes. I mean, All really, right. you would have Christmas presents for your entire family for three years if so. you just gave them all away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wouldn't do that. Well, no. But. Uh, take all the fun out of Christmas shopping next year. Hey, you know, somebody like Lori might appreciate that. Though. Yeah. <laughs> it might be something that she should enter into. Now, uh, for February, you've got something going on, and that is the Paint the Town Red. Yes, and this is going to be kind of in the theme of the Friday Night Shop Hop, so our stores will be open later. Um, anybody that is participating will be placed on a walking map that we will have around downtown in the next couple weeks. And on the map, it will indicate which stores are open and also what kind of goodies they have. So we've encouraged anybody who is going to participate in this that they offer some kind of wine or chocolate or cheese complimentary to their, uh, their people who are coming in. Exactly. So there are lots of neat things. We have several businesses already participating. Um, several of them are offering promotions. I know Basil's is doing a drink special that night. Um, and if you wear red or have a red accessory on, you might get a special something from another business. So we'll give you more details as we get closer to that. But make sure as you're downtown shopping and looking around and checking out our website that you look for the walk, the walking map um, and anything else that uh, that might indicate what's going on downtown in February. Well, I bet a great shop to go into during that is going to be David Fair's on the square. Oh, my gosh, yeah. He <laughs> always does it upright anyway. Yes. So it'll be a fun night to come out, you know, either a date night or a girls' night out. It'll definitely be fun to, to walk around downtown, even if it's 20 below zero. And we're still going to have the Christmas lights in the trees, so it'll be festive down through Valentine's. I know it they're up through, through February. I believe so, yes. I know the tree lights came off, and they're... They're, they're just the fountain light. Yeah. Well, we're taking the Christmas out, but we're leaving the festive lights in the trees. Yes, the, the ambiance of yes. downtown, walking downtown. All right. Uh, anything else you'd like to add in this morning, Steph? Nope, just make sure you come out and check out all the downtown stores. I know they've got a lot of things going on in the Christmas, after Christmas month. Um, so check it all out. All right. This has been the Main Street Report with Interim Main Street Director <laughs> Stephanie Baker's Silk. <laughs> I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David DeNoyer on TCTV.